Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, we've had a great time with the, the test build so far. I think we're getting into some goofy sort of builds, wouldn't you say? Like, I think this as our last unit is a little tricky and kind of goes hard. And then I think like this is, uh, it gives us a favorable outlook. Maybe no guarantees, but let, let's just say a favorable outlook. And you know what? I'll be an alleged smartphone. I'm just enjoying a little Super Auto Pets right now because I know in... An hour and 50 minutes, I have to drive back to uh, my daughter's daycare to pick her up. When I drove there this morning, it was like uh, an ice rink. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, I made it safely. And then I made it safely home. And it has just been minus 10 all day with no precipitation. So the roads are going to be exactly the same. Um... But, I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. You just gotta go slow. But you know what drives me crazy? And I know you're like, you don't have to go off on this rant. I wish I, I wish that were true. I wish I didn't. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna, it's like, I don't know who deserves the buff, but I'm gonna give it to you. We gotta spend three gold on something. What drives me crazy is be me, green text arrow, minding my own business, driving slow in uh, like horrible conditions because that's the way that you, uh, you know, arrive alive. And then I got somebody behind me in their freaking, let's just choose an, a, a brand of car that people universally revile the drivers of, thus revealing their own biases. Someone behind me in their white BMW SUV tailgating me, being like, excuse me, I'm trying to get in a car accident and crash here. Could you please uh, slam on the brakes and unexpectedly and cause me to run into the back of you? Drives me crazy. Just give a, you gotta give a couple car lengths in the winter conditions like this. Anyway, listen, listen, we don't need to go like too off. You would buff a tier two in the shop. So you know what kind of goes pog crazy here? Take a baboon, buy a penguin. The penguin will get one two per turn, just for existing. Oh, but a lizard. <laughs> A lizard getting one, two per turn. We got the benefit of the penguin already, but the, the lizard getting one, two per turn. Now, that is a delightful little thing to think about, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> I think it should be set up like this. Now, we can only get two buffs out of the, the baboon here, which I also call a bonobo. It's not my fault. They share, like, almost the entire alphabet in common with one another. Um, but that's enough buffs to be, like, pretty... Pretty pog about it, I think. That was a, just a great shot. I gotta give you some credit for that one. Um, I think it, it gives us the chance, like, we can wait for a flying fish and maybe, like, a turtle or something like that, and that, that, that makes us feel a little bit better about things. So, ideally, we would prefer not to take a tier 2 on this turn. But we're looking for something meaningful as well, which obviously creates some... Uh, it creates a dilemma, let's say. For now, let's just have the only unit we know we're gonna stick with take a little bit of a buff. And dude, a 4-8 lizard, which is actually gonna be a 4-10 lizard. And we got a very easy and sensible pivot coming up. Like, I... I don't feel too bad about this, although, hold up. What the heck? No! Stop it! My, my team's supposed to be better than yours. Okay, we still win this, thanks to the, the sneaky little golden retriever at the back. I'll take that. I'm, I'm very happy with a three a 4-8 lizard that leveled. Holy cow. It is tempting now. Like, obviously, a lot of these units have to go. It's kind of tempting to create a big flea just because we can get stats on it so easily. Like, we could sell an opossum which will buff the flea or the baranki, and we could honestly take either. It buffed the flea. I actually think that's better. Now, this would make the flea freaking 4-4, four, four, dude. No, 4-5. Sorry, I got lost a little there. I like that. And then we want to sell you. Are we really going to... No, because we don't generate any trumpets. That's not a baranki. What are you talking about, baranki? That's a vaquita. Two very different animals here. A yak. It, uh, there's two of them, but it doesn't really fit the, the tempo of the squad. You can uh, call me crazy on this one. I'm rolling past them. A second bonobo, uh, which uh, now I'm calling the bonobo on purpose instead of by accident, I'll admit. But it's not going to be a 4-6. It's going to be a 4-5. Clearly, I can't do math. But either way, I'm starting to respect what the, what the baboon's putting out here. I'm starting to respect... Uh, 
what they've done here, I'm starting to respect that they're gonna have like an incredible trumpet build. I lived. And I created two big boys. <laughs> and I'm still going to lose, but not by much. But not by much. Okay. What we really want to see is flying fish and turtles. Those would those would make the runs really start to tick. Three piece? Is the lettuce wait, you're a three piece too? Well then let's run double ba baboon here. Freeze the lettuce. Buy a lettuce. Next turn, the shop's going to be tier four, so we don't really need that second lettuce. A turtle. At some point, we're going to want to... Oh, because he buffed himself, but that's okay because he's on the squad. Okay, that's not bad. You know what? Oh, it's perfect. It's, I was going to say, you know what? You got me, but actually, it's, it's, it's pitch perfect here. Starring Anna Kendrick, I think. Rebel Wilson. Flula Borg. Okay. Now, tier fours get the buff from the baboon, of which we have none. A frog doesn't really fit, though. Let's dump a cone snail to put a turtle on the team. I think we have to, like, be a little smart here. I, I think you have to sell the turtle, and I know that seems like we're going backwards here. But this is a real... I know we take it every time, but it's such a good pivot, man. To sell the turtle, combine these. I recognize we lose a buff here, but I think the, flies do, the flea is doing something. He's cooking. We take the macaw, and we hope to get a level. And we don't get a level, but that's okay. I'm actually just going to give you a banana. And really, for, for a, like a 1-2 a, a buff, was that worth it? I don't know. But we, we do the pivot like all the time anyway. I guess we might as well embrace it. <laughs> uh, 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 I got a coconut. I don't think they're making a big trumpeteer here as a result of the weakness. That's a very nice shot. We're going to create our own little lizard tail here. I, I don't know. This team doesn't feel right now like it's got the sauce to get to 10. But it feels like it's got, it's got a little more sauce. I know, I rolled past the yak. It's a sad story. Server, thank you. Um, still nothing I love. I, I recognize that we're re-rolling an awful lot here. And, and we're doing it yet again. This is what I like to see. And I will give this to you. The only thing I don't like about this is it moves our lizard a little further back in the priority queue. And the lizard is kind of what this is all about. But like the flea has to be in the front. We could move the macaw a little further back, I suppose. Yeah, this is heinous. This is really bad. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. There's a, a minimal chance of success here. There is a 0% chance of success. Okay. I think it's clear we're, you know, we, we did okay against the uh, Arizona Coyotes of the world. But once we start playing against the Vegas Golden Knights, we're going to need a little extra sauce here. And yet, I don't love any of this. I, I, I saw the walruses and I just said to them, I said no. I feel like we're basically just rolling for pairs, which means I have no idea what the future holds for us. Um, I have no strategy. There's no guiding principle that's uh, keeping me moving forward. We need a tier five in order to get the benefit of this buff. Am I really going to dump a seven, nine flea in order to fit the, I, I, I am, I am. I can't believe that I'm doing it, but here I go. So now we have a clam that I, like, don't even want to be here, because why would you be buffing a clam in the first place? But it is a 414. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, the lizard can't be at the front, you fool! As I was doing it, I was like, something's not right about this. Oh, no. No, no, no. Hold on. Let him cook. Let, you shouldn't have let him cook. We ended up winning that one somehow, okay? I can't believe it. It really feels like we can't overcommit to a to a, a a lizard here, even though it's almost level three. Maybe we have to pivot to summons, okay? And if we're pivoting to summons, here's the ticket. We are gonna sell the oyster at some point. And we're gonna eat something that summons other units but isn't a lizard. This is very important. You would repeat a faint ability. 
which we don't really have a faint ability. You have a faint ability. You're like, honestly, I actually think this kind of goes off. Check this out. Just for this round. Nayala in the shop. I was going to say, don't make me buy a chocolate cake. But I thought about it. So the, you'll everything looks normal here. And then you're going to summon an 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, we can, we can go one more here too. I don't know. We, we can't really buy anything. There's nothing here we like. But um, And the bonobo is going to be issuing a buff. Okay. But the baboon. Whatever. So the, the, you're going to summon a, a unit that's then, when it dies, going to summon an 8-8 eight, eight dog. Which is, as far as I'm concerned, actually like pretty good utility. Am I crazy or did I just fix our opponent's order? <laughs> I feel like I made their life easier by way of my own actions. Then again, hold on, I'm not I'm not crying yet. It's just been raining on my face. You're gonna summon a dude. He doesn't do enough. We would we two more damage at some point and we get a draw there. I mean you could probably say that about a lot of runs. Two damage applied exactly perfectly, and we would have been set. Give me a buff. This one might be kind of tapped out here, unfortunately. Now, honestly, like, I know we can get a beluga to level three, but then when we eat, or to level two, but then when we eat something, you know, it's going to have to be this Nyala again. So we have to, like, shuffle this guy out. But I'd, I'd rather just focus on getting you popping. I understand that you're on the edge here, but, like, we don't have the gold. Would I sell a lizard to do it? I mean, this certainly seems like a terrible play but it could be kind of funny let's give it a chance so we're, we are r rolling as tom petty said three three squatted and i don't think we're worried about the baboon at this point it's got it's got nobody to party with but it had a banana which made me think it was more valuable more valuable than our lizard okay i'm still alive i'm displeased displeased is the right word for what i am right now you're going to get another coconut armor. Hold up, though. All is not lost. Wait a minute. It's all lost. <laughs> all is lost. <laughs> Wait a minute. Or is it? Because we... Hold on. 16-16 dog has joined the party. We actually won that round. That doesn't seem like that should have happened. And yet here we are. Please get to level three. I'm begging you. Holy cow, it, it fit the bill. And yet we're still rolling three squatted. You know what we could do? We could start building another one out here. No, we can't. That's not how that works at all. Okay, you stick around. It's not my intention to go three squatted here. I think I'd, at some point I just got lost. We're really two squatted too, once you consider the fact that the baboon has effectively like no reason to be here. Oh my god, we got so lucky. Even with with that happening to us, we still got lucky. And then this, and then and then just eight damage, and then just six damage. Come on, the mad, the mad, the mad apes were dull. <laughs> I wanna die. Okay, considering how stupid that was, you know, six is is kind of a miracle. I don't love this squad, but it's that's okay. Let me be a a, a metal robot. Maybe you've seen one before. I'm thinking of Osimo personally myself. Here's the thing though, if we like I I am very pro the changes they made to um, the health system. I think it leads to longer games, which tends to lead to seeing seeing cooler synergies and team compositions and actually seeing tier fives and tier sixes and so on and so forth, right? That being said. It does have me feeling like, why on earth would I care about round one and round two? We might as well just build a squad that like, we think stands a chance to, uh, to otherwise go off. And I think we needed to have like, go off after round two, because we're, we're going to get refunded all of our HP regardless, right? Excuse me, my, my health? How could you do this to me? I think we needed to have our groundhogs like this, by the way. Otherwise, I think we would summon a 1-1 dog, and then our groundhog would still be at the back. 
And then they would give us nothing when they died. So we still lost, but again, it doesn't matter, right? Oh, I only gained one back. Okay, so that's why you would care. But it's still, I mean, I don't think this changes the way we would act here. We have an economy built, which means we desperately want to see a gazelle. Ho! Oh. <laughs> mole, mole, mole. And I think, honestly, like, let's just sell this groundhog early and just throw out a Hercules beetle. You should be at the front just because we need you to die. And we got a pretty statistically good score, but you need to use the magpie to save some gold. That's all right. It's going to be a 3-4. These geese, man. It's going to be a 3-4 gazelle next turn holy cow they ate me alive what a squad sorry i'm i'm from the next round i'm feeling okay i feel like this is just better it's just a great unit and then honestly i feel like I, the best thing i could do here is stat up and save two gold which is where we want to be so that we get the extra You'd be a 5-6 next turn instead of a 3-4. This simply makes sense to me. You egg me? You, you should be... Consider yourself lucky I'm not going to egg you, sir. So we're going to lose this round, too. This Every team that we go up against has the same stats as us, except their, their squad is ten times better. But eventually, eventually the econ's going to pop, man. Why not? And we're buffing tier threes, right? Of which we have none. We have we have a weasel. It's Wessel. Okay, we can buy one more thing. Or we could do some buying and selling, but I don't, I don't think that's our game plan right now. I'm going to just throw this on you. Maybe you want an onion later, but let's worry about later um, when we get a win, you know? Because right now it doesn't seem like there's a big... Uh, a, a, a high degree of probability that later is going to show up. Okay, you're going to summon your own doorhead ant. That's a pretty good falcon. I, I can't deny the efficacy of your falcon there. Uh, that is painful right there. That one hurts. We're on lethal. When will I learn, man? The magpie build. It is not all that in a bag of chips. You can make your econ build work later. It doesn't have to work right off the bat. But don't cry yet. We saved two gold. Got a 5-6 gazelle. A 6-9 magpie. Come on. Okay, we're going... At this point, we're going up against other squads that are on lethal. Which has me thinking that, like, maybe... <laughs> but then I'm looking at this squad, and I'm like, no, this squad is just better than mine. <laughs> Zero wins? <clears throat> okay, so what did I learn? Be careful with the magpies, brother. I think that's what I learned. All right, well, that was embarrassing. Yeah, you know what? You know what I lost to a lot there? Geese. But also, at the same time, maybe a squeaky sailor. Um, maybe I only fought so many geese because I was going up against other squads that had bad compositions. I don't know. You could, you could drive yourself crazy uh, thinking about this kind of stuff, I suppose. We stand a chance here? Oh, we stand a chance. Holy cow, we've already infinitely defeated our previous run. Maybe that's my problem. I played down to my level of competition. That's probably it. So when I was going up against bad teams, I did badly. But now that I'm going up against teams that are slightly better, I'm doing slightly better. You think? I actually feel like, like both Tamarin and Goose can go kind of hard at level 2. Let's try a Goose, though, just because we do it so rarely. And if the Goose is ever going to be, like, useful... It's going to be most useful when stats are, like, at a premium, which they obviously are right now. This is very winnable. This is very one. Okay, great start. Boost me, thank you. Okay, we should take a flying fish. And I think it should look like... Like, you should go, even though you don't give us a buff on sell. Oh, you do, but to a unit that I don't care about. So then you should take this, and then you should go. You have to be unwound first. And then the flying fish, I think... My, my honest appraisal 
is that I think it's possible that the flying fish is actually the, the best unit in the pack. Macaw is really good. Bird of Paradise is, is insanely good. Those may genuinely be better. But the flying fish is, is up there. Don't, don't get it twisted, okay? Wow, you just honestly, just very well done. I got to give you credit for that one. The way the squad was outlaid, perfectly done. The wickedly talented Adele Dazim. So you can obviously go. But we need to make sure the lizard can actually summon something. Like, that's the problem. Like, I can sell you. Right, right now, I would say realistically, the lizard will never summon something. But we want a turtle on the squad. And I remember, I remember. So I'm accepting the likelihood even that we lose on this round. If we summon one lizard tail, maybe we go to the moon. <clears throat> we are not going to. <laughs> Obviously not going to. Okay. Well, this is uh, looking very similar to our, our last run. That's not great. But again, just look for the spawning enablers. You're a spawning enabler. I think we can sell you. And you actually do something, so, so welcome. Never thought I'd say it. And, and tier threes are the, the creme de la creme right now. So the lettuce actually goes off. Do we want to get oh, maybe a weasel out here as well? Why? Good point. Meerkat, it's just... It's just tough to guarantee that we can make it work. But if we can make it work. I don't think it's what you pivot to at this point. But again, like, I could be very wrong, honestly. Maybe we just start throwing bananas on all these units. Bananas come out next? Okay, it's straight up. I know it's crazy. Sell the lizard. Buy a weasel. Then the lettuce hits one more unit. Flying fish is getting closer. That we got a little bit better of a team from a stats standpoint. We're going to have one extra gold per turn in all likelihood. That's a nasty squad. But then here, this is where we finally get the value of the units that we purchased. Come on. <laughs> I just needed you to do like one. You had one job. You had one job. I'm getting destroyed, man. This is not even close. Okay, buy me. Lettuce me. You would buff a tier three. Am I really going to sell a goose to make it happen? Well, like the goose has legitimately just been hitting like uh, cave snails over and over. So I think that sure, why not? No lettuce, but at least the baboon's doing something useful. Start it next round. I don't think we're worried about the baboon from here. But next round... We need to put bananas on every single unit. I can't believe you're spawning something. I, I'm, I'm stunned by your greed. You only spawned one thing, though. I, we're making it through. One six is like, it's useless. Six fours, gotcha. It's also my height. Um, if I'm standing on a... Six inch platform. Uh, so yes. Yes, and now this is where our squad, I think, can become very annoying. Sure. Now, the, the bonobo, also known as a baboon, doesn't actually buff anything here anymore. So I actually think the right play is you sell, and you buy, and then you freeze. Holy cow. <laughs> we still don't need the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a gold build, it's a summon build. We just need, we need to live until we can put a banana in every garage. What is this, faint? Make the last enemy inked? Is it just gonna ink up the same enemy again? No, it inked up a turtle. Honestly, allow me to say it, it's not even that bad. Very nice, very nice. It's all right, the dog will finish the, the job here. I told you it could work. It just we had the we just had to pump the air brakes a little bit. Level me, even though it's off level, I'm okay with that. It's another like if we're going gold build, we would toss you down here, but we're not going gold build. We're really looking for bananas. Of course, we would take a look at it. I see none bananas. 
So I'll just toss you out here. We really need more uh, spawning enablers. But we're about to get to tier 5 when chocolate will exist. A flying fish that gets to, like, level 3 could be quite potent. A turtle that gets to level 2 could be not completely useless. Hold on, we, we've reversed the tide somewhat. I said somewhat. <laughs> I wasn't counting my chickens before they hatched. I said it was... I didn't act like it was guaranteed. Look, we pulled out that one as well. Okay. It's not complete misery anymore. We got to five. Chocolate, no chocolate. I would love for you to summon uh, two groundhogs. Our groundhog is sadly one of our strongest units. Looking for bananas or spawners. But there are two bananas! We don't put it on this weasel because we're not sure that this weasel could very well and, and perhaps is very well going to get rolled up into this one for a level 3 weasel. Which we're keeping around just because it's... I mean, it gives us some gold. And it's got, its stats are okay. This seems rough. I don't, I don't think we're punching through that uh, the guinea fowl here. Which means they're going to get a huge dog. Here it comes. Yeah, we can't. We can't compete with that. 21. Even though I said we can't compete with that, in my head I'm like, maybe we can compete with that. I think we're one banana shy of a bunch here, though. Be Ooh, never mind! We got a whole bunch! <laughs> and you all doubted me. I would say it seems a little crazy. I would go Osprey first, though. Just because it summons another unit, which is exactly like in keeping with our plan. Now, the bear might be like a very sensible pivot, but what about this run screams like sensible to you right now? It's not that like horrendous, but it's certainly a little bit out of the pocket. So you're, we're just going to combine them for a level next turn because we're on two gold. Two chocolate goes insane. We're going to have space, so like a blue ringed octopus seems like a great purchase, and then we could sell it. We could try to level it, but I'd rather not buy chocolate for it because you don't get those extra buy triggers. Okay. Our, we're pretty resistant to our units being, uh, like, weakened because we rely on, like, unit spam instead of just, uh, like, one big guy. I don't know. This one, it's not looking great. They got a pretty strong team here. But I, I think that there's a, a chance. Oh, no, they got a banana back. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Come on, come on. So com it, this is gonna, not going to give us a leveled up unit, but that's okay. Like, sorry, it's not going to give us a better unit in the shop, but that's okay. Then we'll buy you. Sell you. Level you. Honestly, forget the turtle. I'd rather have two of these. Now, you would give us an 8-8 dog. No, you wouldn't. You'd spend six trumpets to gain a coconut perk. That's not what we want to see. want to see some more unit spam. I'm not, I'm not taking another weasel. There is a... <laughs> it's funny, but it's not that funny. You would give us another unit, which is actually... I think is probably good enough but in the short term because we'd really be looking for a beluga in the long term and i think we i know it looks weird but i think we do well maybe it doesn't matter if you no it probably doesn't matter you're not the the spammable unit that i want what we what we're looking for is a beluga that eats a slug or a beluga that eats a um or just a slug for that matter a beluga that eats a um a wolf, the stallion that mounts the world, and, and so on and so forth. This falcon is going to go insane. I am. Uh, we don't stand a, a realistic chance of getting through this. Also, we're, we're not summoning that monkey. That's my mistake. No. No. Yes! <laughs> Sorry. We're still going to lose. But at least like, we didn't summon clones on the other side. Listen, considering how horribly that started, six doesn't seem that bad. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm so great. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And I'll see you next time. See ya!